It is a night that we are going to keep the message alive. We have special guest speakers. We have Imam Siraj Wahaj. We have Imam Suhaib Webb. We have our local esteemed shi'ur in our community. We have our principal. We have teachers. We have our students. And most importantly, tonight, we are going to eat. I'm joking. I'm joking. That's the best one. Sheikh Hamoud, that was for you. Sheikh Hamoud is my second father, alhamdulillah. But tonight, we are going to invest. No one's going to lose anything tonight. Tonight, we are going to invest. We are investing not in this building. This building is just a vessel. Who we are investing in is our children. It's our future. It's our ummah. So tonight, we are going to be extremely generous, inshallah. So I want you all to welcome on this stage Andalusia students who are going to open up tonight with some Quran. Can we clap it up for them, please? Inshallah, we are going to have Hawa Diallo from third grade, Zahra Ramadan from fourth grade, and we're going to have Sifat Sharif from eighth grade reciting different surahs from the Quran al Kareem. We're going to have Hawa Diallo go first, or do you want to go first? Okay, go ahead, Hawa. It's your microphone. A'udhu billah, a'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, iqra' bismi rabbika allazi khalaq, خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان لا يتهى رأه استغنى إن إلى ربك الرجع رأيت الذي ينهى أبدا إذا صلى أرأيت إن كان على الهدى أو أمر بالتقوى أرأيت إن كذب وتولى ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى قلا لئن لم ينته لنسع بالناسية ناسية كاذبة خاطئة فليدع نادية سندع الزبانية كلا لا تطئه واسجد وقترب We're now going to have زهر رمضان الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسماء ذات الرجع والسماء والطارق وما أدراك ما الطارق النجم الثاقب إن كل نفس لما عليها حافظ فلينظر الإنسان مما خلق خلق مما إن دافق يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب وإنه على رجعه لقادر يوم تبل السرائر فما له من قوة ولا ناصر والسماء ذات الرجع والأرض ذات الصدع إنه لقول فاصل وما هو بالهزل إنهم يكيدون كيدا وأكيد كيدا فمهل الكافرين أمهلهم رويدا صدق الله العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والشمس وضحاها والقمر إذا تلاها والنهار إذا جلاها والليل إذا يغشاها والسماء وما بناها والأرض وما طحاها ونفس وما سواها فألحمها فجوها وتقواها قد أفلها من زكاها وقد خاب من دساها كذبت ثمود بطغواها إذ انبعث أشقاها فقال لهم رسول الله ناقة الله وسقياها فكذبوه فاقروها فدمدم عليهم ربهم بذنبهم فسواها ولا يخاف قباها صدق الله العظيم تكبير 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 جزاكم الله خير وصفات زهرة and and my friend هوا يلا جزاكم الله خير and you guys can enter or exit left <laughs> All right, so alhamdulillah, this is what we're investing in in our future. This is the school where we invest in, not in just in academics, but with Islamic values, with the Quran, with Arabi, with anything that is part of your Muslim identity. I want to welcome to the stage Andalusia's Imam, my mentor, my teacher, Sheikh Ali Kamil. Let's clap it up for Sheikh Ali. I'm going to be initiating the clapping just. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Okay, we'll make dua insha'Allah. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. Allahumma inna nas'aluka bi ismika al-a'zam. Alladhi idha du'ayta bihi ajabta wa idha su'ilta bihi a'atayta an tusalli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta al-sami'u al-alim. وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم واغفر لنا ما مضى وأصلح لنا فيما بقي يا أكرم الأكرمين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم أمين ثم أما بعد Welcome all brothers and sisters جزاكم الله خير If we, if we start to think about the Islamic school we have like our Sheikh Imam Faraz said like one hour ago, he says more than 300 masjid in New York City. So how many Islamic school in New York City? Few. From my understanding, the Islamic school likes the spinal cord for the Muslim community. Again, the Islamic school likes the spinal cord for the Muslim community. Imagine if anyone has defect in his spinal cord, he will be very sick. So we have to think like that for the Islamic school. So why we have to support the Islamic school? Because Islamic school, it is our future in the country. Our kids, just we hear them, they recite beautiful Quran, Jazawmullah khair, our teachers, they did a lot for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I believe tonight, inshallah, it is a blessed night from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I believe the community always stand with Andalusia, Islamic school and Andalusia Islamic center. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, the great bounty from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have great community same as you. And remember, the Islamic school is not only spinal cord for the community. It is like the trench around our kids. Trench to protect our kids as much as we can. To implement the Islamic value. To implement Islamic morals and ethics as much as we can. Alhamdulillah, we have here 
Tonight, we have many students. They studied in Andalusia Islamic School. Now they are doctors, engineers, teachers, accountant. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So it's not only Islamic value, but Alhamdulillah, the Islamic education is so good. So I believe, Alhamdulillah, the community will be so generous tonight to support, but remember, for the sake of Allah, if you want to do any donation, one dollar to 100,000, remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look to our hearts, our niyyah. When you do any donation, remember, do for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only that, you can do donation on behalf of your dad and your mom. On behalf of anyone passed away to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I advise myself and all brothers, renew your intention as much as you can. Before you do your pledge or raise your hand, renew your intention not only one time, ten times. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إنما يتقبل الله من المتقين. أسك الله سبحانه وتعالى أكسبت from all of you. أسك الله سبحانه وتعالى make this night إن شاء الله will be a great night for donation for the sake of Allah سبحانه وتعالى for the spinal cord for the Muslim community for the trench around our kids and our families to raise our kids based on Islamic values and morals and ethics as much as we can. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you, our Sheikh, Sheikh Siraj Wahad. Thank you, our brother and Sheikh Suhaib Web. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. Barakallahu feekum. Taqabbalahu minna wa minkum. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaykum. Jazakallahu khair, Sheikh Ali, for that motivational talk. He brought up the money. I didn't bring it up yet. He did. So inshallah, today we are going to have uh, 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 an imam that's here that does not need any introduction, mass is pride and joy, the man, Imam Suhaib Webb. Let's clap it up for Imam Suhaib Webb. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. لا أبغي به بدلا حمدا يبلغ مرضوانه الأمل ثم الصلاة على خير الورى وعلى ساداتنا آله وصحبه الفضلا. We praise Allah subhanahu wa taala. Send peace and blessings upon our beloved Messenger Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, upon his family, his companions, and those who follow them until the end of time. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. ما شاء الله. It's it's an honor to be here and to see the excitement. Uh, the motivation uh, from people 20 years, certainly a great accomplishment for any nonprofit work. Uh, we know all nonprofits right, are, really, are really prophetic, subhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all bless the parents who from the very beginning um, are the, really the backbone of the school. Then the teachers, I did a degree in elementary education, I was a teacher, I understand uh, I remember when I came home my first day and I saw all those papers. I said, Ya Allah, this is a different type of job. And then to the administration, uh, which is not fun. Being an administrator can be certainly a challenge. And then, of course, to the community who has come together to support uh, this education uh, and this investment. We really cannot compare the centrality and the importance of Islamic schools. Uh, this young man, mashallah, he read وَالشَّمْسِ وَالضُّحَاهَا وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَلَاهَا This beautiful chapter that talks about the sun, the moon, the stars, the day and the night, the earth and the heavens. And whoever is able to utilize those things for what's right is successful. And whoever fails to utilize all these resources for what's right an Islamic school accomplishes something which is very difficult, and that is that it, it sets a thermostat for an environment that 
in many ways creates a personality and an individual who seamlessly accepts a number of very important things that you cannot find anywhere else. The first is wujudullahi subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that Allah exists. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is involved and engaged in our lives. Inna Allah la yakhfa alayhi shay'un fil ardi wa la fis sama. Nothing is hidden from Allah. We live in a society that continues to amplify the presumption that the world is omnipresent, that human beings are omnipresent through phones and TikTok and Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook. Our constant monitoring of human eyes may have weakened the fact that we are being watched by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. And we know that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, he said, أَن تَعْبُرُ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَى فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَى فَإِنَّهُ يَرَى Like the height of living is to live a life وَمَا رَمَيْتَ إِذْ رَمَيْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمَى that realizes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with me and everything is being controlled by Allah. By going to an Islamic school, the environment of the Islamic school, naturally and seamlessly creates this understanding in the hearts and minds of young people. That in itself is a huge gift. That's why subhanAllah in the verse, وَمَا خَلَقُوا تُلْجِنَّ وَلِنَسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I did not create human beings and jinn except to worship me. Ibn Abbas said, Ay illa li to know me. That's why one of our teachers used to say, Al Madrasa Islamiya, that the Islamic school to young pe to, to the growth of the Muslim community is like wudu for salah. Like if there's no wudu, there's no salah. If there's no ilm, there's no growth. And that's why Al-Hafiz Ibn Hajr, he said, the only thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Prophet to ask an increase for is what? zidni ilma. And Allah mentioned to the Prophet the virtues of knowledge. So the first is this opportunity to learn about Allah. That's why most of the majority said that al-Asha'ira, we say, أَوَّلُ مَا يَجِبُ وَعَلَى مَنْ كُلِّفَ مُمْكِنًا مِنْ نَذْرِ أَنْ يَعْرِفَ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولَ بِسِفَاتِ مِمَّا عَلَيْهِ نَصَبَ الْآيَاتِ Yani the first thing is to know Allah and to know His Messenger, Sayyidina wa Habibina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That happens naturally in, in an Islamic school, in a system like this. The second is the importance of revelation. Especially the Quran. Sayyidina Shatibi Rahim Mulasa wa Badu. Fahablu lahi fina kija kitabuhu faja hibihi hibla ida mutahabila. The important and Shatabi, he was from Andalus. Subhanallah, it's the name of the school. And Shatabi, he was blind, but still he wrote Hirzul Amani. But the point is the centrality of the Quran. The Prophet said, Al Quran, Hablullahi Mamdudu min as sama And this authentic hadith that the Quran is the rope of God extending from the heavens. Part of it is being upheld by God, the promise to send it. And the second is that it's being upheld by the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad. Our responsibility to live and act on the Quran, the centrality of the Quran. The best of you are those who learn and teach the Quran. I can say that as someone who embraced Islam. You know, even in Al-Azhar, we used to khush al-imtihanat. You know, sometimes you didn't study as good as you should study. So one of our teachers used to say, if you know, you forget or you get worried, just go to what you memorize from Quran, you'll find the answer to the imtihan. And this happened a lot, subhanAllah. And he said, this is a proof that as the Qur'an helped you in this exam, it will be with you as you go through the exams of life. We don't want to create a relationship with the Qur'an that it's something that is intimidating. No, the Qur'an is sahibuk. It's with you. It's there to support you. This happens in an Islamic school, and especially at home. The third 
is the sacredness of the Ummah of the Prophet ﷺ. We have to be very careful how postmodernity now in America, through neoliberalism and through conservatism, is beginning to create layers even in the Muslim community. So now, no longer we see each other as Muslims. We're Muslims, but bloop, 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 bloop. But when the Prophet ﷺ asked the people, Man al nahnu Muslimun. The, the most fractured community in history, those Arabs. When the Prophet asked them, who are you? They didn't say, we're Banu Tamim, or this tribe, or this tribe. They said, we're Muslims. And that's why Shawqi, mashallah, Ahmed Shawqi, a great poet, some of you may know him. He has this great poem when he says, Lama, uh, you know, when Sayyidina Nuh, he, he built this boat. وَحَرَكَتَ الْقُرْدَةُ الْمَعِينَةُ جَرَابِهَا مَا لَا جَرَابِ بَارِ فَمَا تَعَلَى الْمَوْجُ كَالْجِبَارِ He talks about when Sayyidina Nuh, he built the boat, these massive waves begin to rock the boat. حَتَّى مَشَى اللَّيْتُ مَعَ الْحِمَارِ وَأَخَذَ الْقِطُّ بِأَيْدِ الْفَارِ And he said it became so terrifying in the face of real enemies that even the mouse and the cat found the capacity to work together. And the donkey and the lion became homies. And then at the end he says, This is how people are. When they face challenges, they should find within them the natural capacity to lose all of these dangerous kind of notions and work together. And what he's saying is the ummah of the Prophet if we do not find the capacity to work together in the face of enemies, then we are like animals, and actually worse. We learn sisterhood and brotherhood. Now, mashallah, in NYU where I teach, so many mixed race marriages, alhamdulillah, because they came from Islamic schools. They didn't care about Mus'ab and Maryama. She's from the Bronx. They just got married a month ago, alhamdulillah, from two very different ethnic backgrounds. They weren't thinking about those kind of things. When I asked her, what kind of husband are you looking for? Because you're from the Bronx. It's a different issue. Brooklyn doesn't work, Imam. Sorry. She said, I'm looking for a man who has taqwa. That's the kind of like attitude we want to see that comes from Islamic schools naturally, that we're able to sidestep through the toxicity of race. American Judeo-Christian society, in all of its pride, and all of its arrogance, and all of its glory, cannot solve the racial problem in this country. And if we get caught up in those racial dynamics, we will have failed to function in the office of prophethood. We will be failures on the report card of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who said, "Ma farq bain al-Arabi wal ajnabi ila bi taqwa." Inna akramakum inda Allah. The most honorable of you are those who have taqwa. Who are biman taqwa, and only Allah knows who has taqwa. So we assume, alhamdulillah, everyone is the best. As Al Tahawi says in his aqidah, Al Mu'minun kulluhum awliya ur Rahman. So we learn that in Islamic school. We see this young generation, Generation Z is dope, man. Generation Z, brave. They're not taking it anymore. They're ready to engage through Islamic principles. And finally, we learn in Islamic school to support one another. I'm originally from Oklahoma. Don't hold it against me, Imam. Aukiluhuma. And there's one sister, mashallah, Sister Deborah. She's one of those sisters who selflessly volunteers, takes food to people who have COVID, works in the prison system, runs a food shelter for people. And her old son tonight is in ICU. Subhanallah, and when, when, like so many sisters, the community rests on them, mashallah. And so she recently texted me, and she was asking me, do you know anyone who needs help? I said, what, what? You're the one who needs help. Where did she get that kind of selfless way of thinking? It's through Islamic education. So the Islamic school is what we say, Something that leads to accomplishing so many fara'id. وَمَا أَدَاءُ الْوَاجِبُ إِلَى بِهِ فَهُوَ وَاجِبُ This principle in usul al Whatever allows us to accomplish an obligation becomes what? Obligatory. 
So this work is not only something we should take lightly. This is a work of preserving the amana of the Prophet ﷺ, the hearts of the children. When Sayyidina Ibn Abi Zayd al-Qayrawani in his Risala, when he wrote in the very beginning, he said, I wrote this for the kids to, to protect them. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to continue this really important work. And I'm not going to talk about money, but I'm going to talk about money. Be generous tonight. Understand that you're giving to, mashallah, something which is going to last and bring benefits in ways you can't imagine, mashallah. Knowledge is something that, as Imam Shafi'i said, goes with you wherever you are. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yazidukum insha'Allah khayran wa barakallahu feekum wa sallallahu wa sallam ala sayyidina Muhammad as-salamu alaykum. If there's anything we learn from his talk is to work together, right? This school cannot exist, exist with just one community. MashaAllah, in front of me are people from New Jersey, are people from the Bronx, from Yonkers, from Manhattan, Imam Suhaib Webb. And we have Imam Siraj Hajj coming all the way down from wherever he is. He's always everywhere. You never know where he is. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Wow. MashaAllah. So inshallah, I also want to acknowledge we have some uh, politicians in the room. Let's clap it up with the politicians real quick. We have Shanae Williams here, a council member of Yonkers. And I would like to welcome to the stage George Latimer, Westchester's County Executive. Salam alaikum. It's a pleasure to be with you here tonight and such a festive night uh, to join Shanae. Also, my friend from Pelham, who I know is here, Hanan El Dahari. I can't see her with the lights, but uh, it's a pleasure to be with you in the same room. And we may be joined by a couple of other folks from our secular society. Um, this is uh, uh, going to be a fun night, so I'm going to keep it really short. And you'll be sure to have more fun once the politicians get off the stage. But um, we do want to show those of us in secular authority how much we, re we respect the Andalusia uh, School and the organization and what an important mission this represents. And it's really on two levels. The first one is the education of young people. Because no matter where we are, no matter what our background is, what our religious beliefs are, we know that education is the rising tide that raises all boats. And it creates in the children that walk through this building, future engineers and architects, future lawyers and doctors, future imams, people who will make a contribution to their family and to this society with that education that is so essential. So we, we respect that and we welcome that. And we also recognize and welcome the fact that, that there is something deeper in the matter of faith and morals that are taught in a school like this. Now there are many other different types of schools that are there with other different faith traditions. But the one thing they have in common is understanding that there's something higher than secular authority. There is an almighty reality. There is Allah, and we may all call that, that supreme being different names and different faiths, but we recognize that we are subordinate to that. And, and the values that you convey in this school are essential to make those individuals not just successful financially, but successful as men and women and fathers and mothers and, and uh, good, productive family people. So we salute what you're doing here. We look forward to be helpful to you in any way we can. Uh, we hope that this COVID uh, crisis is getting behind us and we can start to live more of a normal life. And we wish you a wonderful evening together. And between the city, with, represented by Shanae, and the county, myself, well, we'll work together in some good uh, cooperation. And for my friends who are here from the Bronx, Bronx is in the room, I assume, right? Bronx is in the room? Is Brooklyn in the room? Just so you know, we're not upstate New York. We're your neighbors. Have a nice day. Thank you. Inshallah, tonight we have a nice surprise uh, or treat from the fourth and fifth grade students here in Andalusia School. How are we all feeling? First of all, let me check how everyone's feeling. A little bit better. Let's clap it up. Remember, we're, no one's leaving. No one's, we've locked the doors. So alhamdulillah, now I would love to welcome fourth and fifth grade students to sing a beautiful nasheed. So can we please show them some love?
Let's give them another round of applause, please. That is going to be on YouTube for the rest of their lives. So, so inshallah. I wanted to welcome the student council representative here in Andalusia School, Wadi Al Khan. Can we give a round of applause for our brother Wadi, 11th grader? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I welcome all esteemed guests of the Andalusia School's 2022 fundraiser. On behalf of the Andalusia School Student Council Vice President, Wadir Alqam, it's okay, Sister Maha, uh, I thank you all for attending such a fantastic event. Our precious school has configured its first student council in many years with the help of our lovely principal, Sister Chama, and our instructor, Sister Amana. As well as with the formation of other clubs, students now have many more opportunities to extracurriculars. In addition to the existing chess and book clubs, Sister Chama and the student council have added newsletter, spirit, spoken word, art, cooking, and stocks clubs. Students are able to explore their interests in the clubs and learn skill, skills that can be used for their future careers, such as leadership. The new clubs are a new way to explore new possibilities and obtain networking opportunities. Two years ago, I had stepped into the halls of Andalusia School not knowing what to expect. Unfamiliar faces and surroundings had crept all around me, leaving me overwhelmed and nervous but the familiar Islamic environment and the morning assembly comforted me. Reciting Allah's 99 names in unison, teachers instructed Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Malik, and so forth. The Islamic studies, Quran, and Arabic classes have taught me numerous facts about our religion. It's not only those classes, but the common core classes. They have contributed a great deal to my education as well as my fellow classmates. I truly believe that Andalusia School has also contributed a good amount to my faith. I have surpassed multiple milestones as both a Muslim and a student. I wish for more students to receive the same opportunities as I did, but I cannot lie, dear audience. Whether it's $100 or even 10, it will help the students of Andalusia School improve their academics and learn more about their religion. 
This school is a place of both academics and religion. We students do think that we need more resources. As the augmentation of students transpires, the demand for supplies such as textbooks have increased. Without your help today, this dream cannot be achieved. As a junior, I would like, to be, uh, I would like for this school to be in its best possible form, whether it's college prep or just school activities. COVID has limited our growth potential and extracurriculars over the past two years, but we are bouncing right back up. And saying this, I'll end with a quote from our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ كُلُّمْ رِئِنْ فِي ظُلِّ صَدْقَتِهِ حَتَّى يُقْضَى بَيْنِ النَّاسِ This hadith states, the charity you give will be your shade on the day of judgment. جزاكم الله خيرا. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. I'm back. Salam alaikum. My brother Wadi, my fault. Your sister told me your last name. Sorry. So inshallah, right now, I want to welcome to the stage a beloved sister of mine, a really close friend, a staff member here at Andalusia, and also an alumni, Sister Ali Al Jamal. All right, I'm going to just get right into it. So, is that good? Okay. So when I was young in Andalusia, I attended Andalusia from pre-K to 12th grade. My teacher told me that each and every single one of us has a light inside of us. And in order to protect that light, we need to do constant istighfar and make sure that we're not sinning too much because it's kind of hard to protect ourselves once our heart became darkened. And so fast forward 15 years later, I started to attend college. And to be honest, when I was in college, I didn't like what I saw. I didn't like who I was becoming. And it made me extremely uncomfortable. And so I kept thinking and thinking, and I realized I wasn't in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I realized that's what Andalusia gave me. And I started to think, you know, what is it that's going to give me that feeling that Andalusia gave me? And so I came back to Andalusia, not as a teacher, not as anything. I was still a student. I started to attend the halaqa with Sheikh Ali, and then I started going to the Bronx Muslim Center for a halaqa every single Friday. And I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be honest. The, a lot of the things that I heard in these halaqas were things that my parents were telling me my entire life growing up, and things that my teachers were telling me all throughout my years in Andalusia. But I just kept remembering an ayah that my teacher taught me, and wallahi, I reminded myself of this every single time. My teacher said, Inna dhikra tanfa'ul mu'mineen. No matter how many times I heard this, Inna dhikra tanfa'ul mu'mineen means that the reminder benefits the believer. And I kept telling myself this, and I knew that it was true. I knew that it was true because I experienced my time in Andalusia when I was constantly being reminded how easy it was for me to do my ibadah versus the times I wasn't in this constant remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hearts don't find ease. And at this time, I was not at ease. And so anyway, I kept, con I kept attending the halaqa because I wanted to feel everything that Andalusia kept giving me. It kept reminding me that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. That the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all his stories that I was taught in Andalusia proved to me that he was the best role model indeed. And it also reminded me that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves me. And it reminded me of my purpose. And that's why I still continue to come. And so at this point, I realized, okay, I'm good. Alhamdulillah, I'm attending halaqas. I'm going to college. What more is this to, there to do? And of course, Sheikh Ali had to tell me what more there is to do. I sat in Quran class one day, and he asked me a question. He asked all of us in the group. He said, what's the point of gaining all this knowledge, coming every single week to the halaqa, if you're just keeping it for yourself? And I kept thinking about that and thinking about that and thinking about that, and it went back to the light. And I was like, one light is not enough to, sh to light up a room. My light is not enough. And in order for us to light up a room, I need to pass that light. I need to share that light. This is keeping the message alive, passing the flag of Islam. And I kept thinking about that light. And this is what made me come back to Andalusia and teach in Andalusia because I wanted to remind my students of this, to show them that Islam is incorporated in every single thing that they do. I try to incorporate it in each and every single one of my lessons to show them it's a lifestyle. Islam is a lifestyle. And so I, I came back to teach, and then I, I continued to attend the Halaqa and Bronx Muslim Center every single Friday to help these girls that are struggling with carrying their own flag. It's really hard out there for these girls in this society. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for them. And I just want to, I know Andalusia offers so much more than just thicker. I know, it, I myself, I'm the example, it offers so much more than just dhikr. But I wanted to focus on dhikr because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that dhikra tamli ul mizan, that remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala weighs extremely heavy on the scale. It fills the scale. And so to me, in my opinion, this is the most important thing that we gain from Andalusia. And uh, before I end, I just want to say Jazakallah khairan to everybody that's out here because you guys support Andalusia with your time, your money, your energy, um, everything that you do, it, we, you know, you guys made it possible. And I want to thank Mass for providing us with this facility, providing me with an usra, with nuqaba, with everything, the books that we use, alhamdulillah, like this is all thanks to you guys. Jazakallah khairan, and of course, Jazakallah khairan to my parents that enrolled me in Andalusia to begin with. And last but not least, uh, Sister Nama, our teacher in Andalusia, she was teaching here when I was here, and she's still my role model to this day. Jazakallah khairan, everyone. Inshallah, you enjoy your dinner. Jazakallah khairan, Sister Alia. She teaches pre-K. You guys should all be enrolling your children into Andalusia, inshallah. So uh, before we continue on tonight, we brought one of our staff members up, and I want us all to just give all of our attention to these tables up in the front and some scattered tables. If you could just make some noise for the teachers in the room. I like the lights flickering. That's new. I like that. So I just wanted to give some shout out, some love to the teachers in the room, my colleagues, right? I'm a teacher here in Andalusia as well, and alhamdulillah, every day our teachers are coming in. They're not just dedicated, they're not just determined, they're caring, right? They are role models, they are focused. Every day we walk into this building, not just with our jobs, but with an amana, with a trust from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? To do our job, not just to just do it, but to do it with ihsan, to do it with excellence. And our teachers here come every day, ready for the day. And I want you to know this fundraiser is to support our staff the most because they are the vessels, they are the ones we are using to educate our youth, to educate our children. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases our rizq and brings people to increase that rizq, right? Ameen, say ameen. Ameen. And I really do hope that tonight makes a difference to our staff, makes a difference to our children. You know, we need money, that's the bottom line, right? In order to function in this society, we need the funds. Every institution needs it. And an Islamic school like this, the only mass Islamic school in all of New York, this is it. All of mass is invested in this one building. We have mass members from Brooklyn, from Staten Island, from the Bronx, from all over, because we are all here as a mass family supporting the Andalusia school, and it all begins with our teachers. And I, I, and I, from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of everyone's heart in this room, in this community, we thank our teachers. Jazakumullah khairan to the teachers. Can we make some noise once again? The joke in my friendship, in my circles, is that I have so many jobs. I'm always jumping between job to job. And it's because I just have to find the job with the right environment. And alhamdulillah, when I come to Andalusia, it's the right environment. It's the support. So I would love to welcome to the stage the support that, let me move back. I would love to welcome to the stage our principal, Sister Chama. I came here tonight, I was already, already a nervous wreck, um, and then we had Wadi come up and give that amazing speech, and then we had Aliyah, and then you had Maha, and I'm like, I can't top this. Um, I'm so nervous, and this light hitting me is not helping, but I'm going to try my best. So thank you all for coming here today. Um, I'm happy to see most of you are here. It's just a habit, like you don't know when you have it on or when you have it off. You know, you walk somewhere, you forget you don't have it on. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I didn't do it intentional. Um, we're all here tonight because we all have the same thing. We all have a common goal. It's not to see the success of the school, but to see the success of the students. When the, success, when the students succeed, 
the school succeeds. But sometimes to get students to succeed, we need more resources, which is why we are all here today. We all share the goal to see our children receive a good education, be college bound, and most importantly, grow to be mo model God-fearing citizens in this society. Holding on to the pillars of our faith in, in becoming more and more difficult is, is becoming more and more difficult in the society. That's why institutions such as this is very vital. All right, <laughs> getting used to this. Um, no doubt there is much Islamophobia in this country. And how do we combat Islamophobia? Do we give up our faith? Do we give our morals and do we give up our morals and values? Do we give up practicing our religion? No, we hold on to our religion. We hold on to our faith. To combat Islamophobia, we need to educate ourselves, and by educating ourselves, we educate others. We need to stay true to who we are as Muslims and not shy away from religious practices. When I think about our expectations for our students, I always think back at a, um, to that famous CNN political analyst, Van Jones. While debating Islamophobia on Amer on, in America during one of his news segments, he pointed out the effects of having Muslim neighbors. There is no sound. Well, at least there's subtitles. No, we can't fix that. I don't know how to go back. Wait, this is the back button? All right. Go forward? Inshallah. This video is actually from 2017, so it's not a new video, but it's circulated, and I'm pretty sure more than half of you have seen this video before. Even though it's old, I always think about it. And when I think about what we want from our students, this is what we want. This is the example we want to set. This is coming from a non-Muslim. In plain English, he is saying, to have a Muslim neighbor, you would be the happiest person. Can you imagine him saying that? Like, with all this Islamic field, when he's saying, you would be the happiest person to have a Muslim neighbor? The chances of your kids getting into trouble just went down. If you have a Muslim neighbor, those chances go down. Meaning, the chances of your children doing drugs, becoming crim criminals, is less likely if you have Muslim neighbors. The neighborhood will be safer. He says that about our women, Muslim women, have the highest educational attainment in this country. Can you imagine? The strongest statement he is saying, or the strongest statement that he said, they are the model American community. The model American community. I often reflect on these words and am honored that the people notice this positive in us, right? This is what we want. These are the students we want to produce. The reason why Muslim communities have less crime rate is because of the teachings of Islam. Because Islam is not just a, a, a belief, right? It's a whole way of life. And whether you're practicing like up or you're in the middle or down, you still have those Islamic values in your house, right? It's a way of life. Why do Muslim women have the highest educational attainment? It's because of Islam. As opposed to popular belief, Islam never prevented women from getting an, an education. It encouraged all men and women to be educated. How do we become that model American citizen? Here at Andalusia, we focus on both religious and secular education so that our students can become the model citizens representing Muslims everywhere. The past few years have been very tough on the students with COVID. 
not just at Andalusia, but across the country. No doubt, students' educational levels, social skills, and behavior have greatly been challenged. But we come a long way, and some normalcy is returning to our schools and our students, alhamdulillah. From the beginning of the school year, one of the main focuses has been increasing math and English periods so our students, to help our students um, catch up. We at Andalusa called it COVID recovery. So whenever someone would say, I was like, we have COVID recovery this year. Alhamdulillah, we are seeing signs of that. We see the students are improving. We see that they're starting to meet the standards. They're starting to meet um, grade level standards. So there is positive in this, alhamdulillah. Next year for our seniors, we will be offering three to four AP classes and trying to get the students to take college classes at the college as well. 11th graders have been working very hard this year, mashallah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, they told me don't look and point, but I can't help it. <laughs> One of the things we brought back to the school was the student council. We had students run for president, we had vice president as well, and we held, we held official elections at the school. Mashallah, the student council has been very active. Some of the benefits of student council are it allows students to have a voice, it helps prepare them for the real world, work as a team, it allows students to develop leadership skills, and it, they can also plan special events or projects or assist and oversee events created by the clubs, which I'll talk about in a minute. And it helps them build skills and practice becoming productive citizens. There I go, still looking. Can't help it. Some of the things that they have done so far, and mashallah, I can tell you that our student council is very, very active. And you saw him give that wonderful speech. Actually, when I read his speech, I asked him if I can take it. <laughs> I was really considered, I was like, can I take your speech? It was very good, mashallah. But some of the things that they have done so far, they organized a field trip, although it was canceled in December because the school went virtual, they are now organizing another field trip for middle school and high school to the museum. They organized a canned food drive. They helped in organizing a food packing event where students, where about 40 students participating in packing food for people in need. They organized a coat drive. They helped organize and oversaw the school chess competition. They are organizing a badminton competition for middle school and high school. To a certain extent, they oversee the clubs and meet with clubs representatives regularly to see what they need or if they need any support. They oversee the club's budget and handle any financial requests that clubs might have. So they're actually the ones that are overseeing the budgeting of the clubs. One of the biggest accomplish accomplishments is that the student council planned, advertised, organized, and overseeing peer tutoring for our students. And that's a huge accomplishment. So these are students tutoring students, and this was all organized by the student council. So basically, students are tutoring other students that need help or support in whatever subject they are struggling in. And I've always said to the high schoolers, I was like, you guys need to support each other. If you see your Muslim brother or sister struggling, ask for help. You can actually help each other, and that's how you're going you're gonna to be more successful. Help each other, and alhamdulillah that they were able to do this, and they are helping each other. Lastly, and maybe most importantly, inshallah, they will be the future board members overlooking masjid and schools. So can I get a takbir for the student council? Yeah. Oh, I got the flashing lights too, hey. <laughs> Something new that we created in the school this year are student clubs. And you already heard, um, I've mentioned it, you've heard Wadi talk about it as well. Clubs create small communities where students can meet and socialize with students that have similar interests and goals. Some of the other benefits is it looks good on a college application, improves passion and interest, improves mental health, which after two years of dealing with COVID restrictions, it's something that they really need. Um, it helps develop a sense of unity and teamwork while having similar passions, develops social skills, and it fosters critical thinking skills and nurtures life skills. Some of the clubs are art club, spoken word, chess club. We actually had a school chess competition. Mashallah, our ninth grade student, Muhammad, won. And the deal was that whoever wins gets to play me. I've been playing chess my whole life. 
I lost. The students were very happy that I lost. I guess, I don't know, maybe it was payback or something, but they were very happy about that. We have the book club. We have the newsletter club. Um, you were supposed to have a copy of their latest newsletter on your tables, but I see that they're here, so I'm going to just get a student to maybe walk around and put them on tables so you can get a glimpse of what the students are doing. The newsletter is actually run by students, and they actually write the articles, they design it, they do it all independently. We have the Spirit Club. They organize Cultural Day where students wore their cultural clothes to school. The club is also planning on other events for school, um, inshallah. We have the Stocks Club, which is a new one. We just started the Stocks Club. Students were very, very excited about this club, and mashallah, when we had students sign up for clubs, this was the one that was most requested. The Stocks Club, most requested over cooking club. <laughs> Can you imagine? This was the one that was most requested. And this is positive things that it shows that our students are thinking long-term education and their future. Oh, wait, I go back. So the guidance group, the guidance group is actually not a club, but I wanted to mention it because it's something fascinating that our students were doing. It's not a club, it's a group of mostly 11th graders that want to create a guide or a manual for high school students to help them understand the process of applying to college, what they need to know and what they need to prepare for. It was one student that had this idea and she put together her team and her team gets together to work on this project independently. They want to make sure that there is something there to help high school students, not only this year, but in the future as well. And this is exactly what we want from our students, to be forward thinkers, to take initiatives, support one another. Some of the other things that are happening in the school, elementary school had their 100 day celebration and they had a march where they marched around the school chanting 100 days or 100 numbers or just counting to 100. Um, and then middle school and high school came out of their classrooms to cheer the students on. Started counting with them, you know, cheering for them. And this is a wonderful thing to see that our students supporting and cheering the younger ones. And that's setting a good example. Middle school and elementary school will be having a spelling bee, which is coming up in March. Middle school and elementary school will be having a science fair, which is coming up in April. And in Charlotte, we are planning a Quran competition that will take place in May. The Spirit Club is also organizing career day for the students. The Spirit Club. Getting these kids involved, mashallah. From an Islamic front, one of the changes we are making is our Quran classes. Um, right now, we have from middle school and high school, we have two Quran levels. So you have like the beginners and then you have the, the regular ones. So we are actually changing that and we are going to be adding four levels of Quran. This will enable us to cater to individual levels of students. One of the most important things we need to teach as an Islamic institution is Quran. Not only reading and memorizing, but also correct makhraj, pronunciation, and implementing tajweed rules in the recitation. The Quran has been preserved for almost 2,000 years, and we are not about to lose our legacy. These students, these students are the future Quran teachers for the next generation, and we need to make sure that they are prepared for that. In a hadith in Sahih Bukhari, it says, the best amongst you are those that learn the Quran and teach it. For Islamic studies in high school, they've started having weekly halakhas, and inshallah, we will begin in those halakhas for middle school as well. The halakhas are meant to, by the way, Alia and Maha are so, uh, the halakha teachers for the girls, and mashallah, you, just from hearing them, you know they're amazing. So um, the halakha are meant to help students connect with Islam on a personal level. They help build passion, understanding, self-reflection of themselves as Muslim in a modern society. As I said with Quran, these students are the future teachers of the next generation. I want to reflect back on the statement from Van Jones about wanting Muslims as your neighbors and them being the model citizens. Here at Andalusia, we want the whole package for our students to be those model citizens, to be successful in their future career, and to be the ones to carry Islam to our future generation. 
So to end, I want to end with this hadith. The best gift from a father to his child is education and upbringing. And mashallah, that you guys have already taken that step and you're helping your children to succeed. And may Allah reward you. Jazakul um, khair. And thank you all for showing up tonight. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Here, they won't be distracted or pressured into negativity. And if they stray away, we will be there to help them find their way back to the right direction. Andalusia is a place where our children can learn, run, play, and pray. This institution intends to give students a core they will always have within them long after they leave the school and become the people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills them to be. Along this journey, they will form memories and gain knowledge amongst children who share and practice the same faith as them. Islamic schools such as Andalusia are essential to young Muslims living in the West, and through them, we pray we can instill a love for Islam in the future generations of our Ummah. Takbir! Takbir! Alhamdulillah, shout out to Brother Alex who put that together. I just wanted to quick give a quick um, announcement before our beloved comes up. Um, I just wanted to uh, give another shout out to previous staff members that are coming today, that have came today to support the Andalusia School. Nothing would exist without the previous support and leadership of the past. So Jazakumullah khairun for everyone coming out and showing love and unity. Let's give it up for our <laughs> teachers. So inshallah, I also wanted to just uh, give some detail to the surroundings all around us. He's beautiful. This is our gym and we have transformed it into a nice banquet And I just want you to know this is available for anyone who has any special occasions and would like to rent the Andalusia gym It is possible if you reach out to sister Anna or anyone that you know of a familiar face and without further ado I would love to introduce the Imam of America Yes, brother. You are the Imam of America. Let's clap it up for Imam Siraj Wahaj. Assalamualaikum. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu amma ba'd. 
Brothers and sisters, you have no idea how grateful to Allah I am. I feel tonight to be with you for a few moments. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Every one of you are born by nature a Muslim in the fitrah. When I was living in Fort Greene Projects at the age of seven, one Sunday morning, I will never forget. I was getting ready to go to church. And my, I said to my mother, how come we got to go to church anyway? My mother took her belt. And she whacked me a couple of times. She said, now do you understand why you got to go to church? I said, yes, ma'am. But alhamdulillah, this past Tuesday, I am very happy to announce that my mother took shahada at my hands at the age of 89 years old. So the one, so the one she brought to the church, I now bring her to the masjid. So tonight we're trying to raise two hundred thousand dollars for this school, Andalusia. I'm about to say something to you that you're going to say, Imam Saraj, this is an exaggeration. It's hyperbole. But what I'm about to say to you, I really believe. Study the Quran, you find, and the Sunnah, you always find that there are comparisons. Let me give you one example. The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, was sitting with a man next to him. And a man walked by. He said, What's your opinion about this person? Ashraf Min al Nas, one of the most high person in society. Whenever he speaks, people listen to him. He intercedes on behalf of people. They accept his intercession. If he asks a woman married, he, everyone will marry him. So the prophet remains silent. And then another man passed by. He says, What's your opinion about this person? Oh, one of the poor Muslims. If he asks a woman for marriage, no one would marry him. If he speaks, no one would listen. You know what the prophet said? Alayhi salam. He said, this man is better than a whole earth of the other one. Exaggeration? Extreme? Let me tell you something. This 20 years of this, this wonderful institution, I think 272 students, something like that. I'm going to say something. And I know what you're going to say, Imam Saraj. Really, it's an exaggeration. I'm going to compare this school with another school. This other school been around 286 years, not 20 years. This school don't have 272 students, but they got over 31,000 students. I asked, what's the yearly expenses for and Andalusia? You ma'am, about two million dollars. The school that I'm talking about, annual expenses is not two million dollars, but five billion four hundred million dollars. And you know what they paid every year. Do you know what school I'm talking about? Tell me. Harvard. See, ma'am, it's not fair. That's higher education. You were talking about elementary school. I beg to differ with you. And Lucia is higher education. How much tuition do you pay? $3,000, $4,000, $6,000? Harvard, room, tuition, room and board, $72,000 a year. And you know what? They pay for it. How many on the staff of Andalusia? How many? For this 
school here, Harvard, over 16,000 staff, professors. And you know what? They paid it. Three ways. We're going to do it tonight, inshallah. What I want to do, I believe in higher education, Islamic education. Sheikh Hussein, he knows I always believe in donating myself. I don't donate that you can do the same thing. I donate that you do more. So alhamdulillah, I cannot tell you, I can't guarantee you we're going to raise $200,000, but I can guarantee you this. I will pay myself $5,000, alhamdulillah. Bro brother next to me, say, okay, I'll do $5,000. That's $10,000 right away. Sheikh Suheb Webb should do the rest and we'll be good. So, why should we? How much should we give? The Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Teach your children salat at the age of seven. Let me tell you something about Harvard. You know how many chaplains they have in Harvard? 30 chaplains. You know the difference between a chaplain and a rabbi, a minister, or an imam? A rabbi, a, a, a minister, an imam over a synagogue, a church, or a masjid. But a chaplain is over an institution. They have them in the police. They have them in the army. They have them in schools. Harvard have 30 chaplains. What I'm about to say to you, you can look it up. The head chaplain for Harvard is an atheist. Do you know the alumni for Harvard? Let's see. Bill Gates. Graduated from Harvard. Mark Zuckerberg graduated from Harvard. Michael Bloomberg. Eight former presidents of the United States of America graduated from Harvard. But yet, this, these graduates from Andalusia, and what they are taught by Allah, someone asked the question. How long will the building stand? Answer, how strong is the foundation? Don't tell me that they went to Harvard or Yale, but at least tell me that they went and got their Islamic education. So how much will you give tonight? I think that we have an ability. Some of you can give $20,000. I think if you want, somebody here can say, I can give $100,000. I won't do that to you tonight. But I will begin with $20,000. I believe one, two, three, four, or five of you can do $20,000. Who will start out tonight with an understanding of the significance of this institution? and make a contribution of $20,000. What? Are you telling me $20,000? Are you telling me someone can do $20,000? You say his name? Amran Flavor. Flavor. Allahu Akbar. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean. He will not stand alone. We need someone else. Now listen, I don't do no long fundraisers. Sheikh Hussein tell you that. I think in a couple of minutes, we get $200,000 easily. Very easily. We got $120,000 already. Somebody going to match him. Who will match that brother? Inshallah, with $20,000. He said, be the lad and get all of the edge from spending in the way of Allah for this Islamic education. A what? Are you kidding me? $20,000? Let me tell you something. If it wasn't for the pandemic, I would come kiss you right now. $20,000. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean, it's a name. It's good. But let me tell you something, brother. I love you, but you caused me a problem. Can I tell you the problem you caused me? The prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said that Allah is Witra and he loves Witra. Allah is odd and he loves odd. And what you did... You made it even. 
So I need one more person to say, you know what? Allah bless me. I got $20,000, and I want to give $20,000 for this school. This school more important than Harvard and Yale and all those other schools. Who be the third person to say, you know what? I want to give $20,000. My sheikh just came in. How you doing? So you came in just in time to give me $20,000. Now, I'm going to let you know. That's how we do it. When you come in, when I'm asking for $20,000, and you come walking up here, that means you got to get $20,000. I'm going to let you go this time. But don't do that again. We got $20,000. We got two. If name, now we have the third one, Salefna. Who will be the third one to give $20,000? $20, if we can do that, if we can get three, four, or five, the rest will come in moments. Anyone whom Allah has blessed? Let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you something. When we were in the wombs of our mothers, Allah sent the angel and told them what would be their substance. How much will they have? And you know who was Allah put, uh, sent an angel to? I read the Times magazine, the end of the year. They call it the person of the year. You know who the person of the year was? Elon, uh, what's his name? Musk. Musk, you know how much money that man worth? $300 billion. Allah wrote for him in the womb of his mother. Some of you, Allah wrote 100,000, 200,000, a million. Tonight, let's spend it, he said, I need a third person that say, yes, Allah has given to me, I want to give back. One more, why? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. That's three. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say me. 20, 40, 60. I want one more. No, no, no. I got to get one more. It's good. It's good. You did good. But I want one more brother or sister. I need a fatwa from the imam. Imam, I need fatwa. Zachariah Yusuf. That's the one. Good, good. I mean, make dua. May Allah bless you in this life and the best of the hereafter. after. Say, I mean. Now, Sheikh, I need fatwa. Are the sisters allowed to donate? Yes. He said, yes. One more question. One more question. Are they allowed to donate $20,000? Yes. Of course. More? No, more? Okay, we have three. Wallahi, I think there's one more. I think there's one more who can say, you know what? Allah has blessed me. He really has blessed me. He's given me risk. There are people all over the world who don't have enough money for food or water or a home. But Allah blessed us. We live in a nice, we live in a nice home. How about one more person, $20,000? Remember what the Prophet said, alayhi salat wa salam. Yaqulu ibn Adam, mali, mali. Children of Adam say, my wealth, my wealth. Really, really? Your wealth? Really? He said, what is yours is what you eat and consume, what you wear and wear out, and what you send in sadaqah. That's yours. And you go listen. Every year, the people that die, billions of dollars left behind. Arnold, uh, uh, Arnold uh, what's his name? Um, Arnold Carnegie said, he who dies wealthy dies disgraced. <laughs> Hurry up and do good deeds. So who will be the fourth one? $20,000. I feel it. Do you, do you feel it, Sheikh? You, you, feel, you feel it? Huh? You looking at me, man? Hey. I need, I need one more, man. You got to get me one more. You got to get me one more. You got to get it now. You searching? You searching? One more. 20000 I think if we get one more, we make it. A brother, sir, brother, yeah, brother, I got to tell you something, right? I love you. I love you, okay? I love you, but when Imam Siraj is doing a fundraiser, don't be raising your hand. It's going to cost you $20,000. I'm going to let you go this time, okay? I'm letting you go, but don't do it again. You do it one more time, it's going to cost you. And I got my bodyguards here from Brooklyn. They'll take care of that. All right. One more. Arba. Who be the fourth one? $20,000. He said, Bilillah. One more. Good. Alhamdulillah. Brother and sister, let me tell you something. I thank you. And one of the things about fundraisers, don't, 
always think it's about how much money you have. It's about Nia. You know, because the prophet, he said, there are four types of people. One people, Allah, he give them, he give them knowledge and wealth. And he know how to spend it, fi sabilillah. And another one, Allah give knowledge but no money. He said, if I had, I would do like he did. And one hadith said the reward is the same. All right? MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khaira, brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Now, I'm going to ask you this. If we got, that's three, right? Three at 20? How about, you, you want me? You look like you want, you want to tell me. You look like you got that look. <laughs> you know what I think? You know what I think? And you may think Imam Saraj is an extreme, but it's not. I believe that 10 of you can do $10,000. You came today to support this wonderful institution. We can't even imagine the good that will come to us by supporting this, supporting the teachers. Harvard, some of those professors make over $300,000 a year. I don't think that any of the teachers here make $300,000 a year. In fact, what I see, what I don't like, let me tell you what I don't like. I like sports. I do. I like sports. There's the New York uh, Mets just signed a pitcher this year, paying him $43 million a year. You know, they pay money for actors and, and boxers and football players and basketball players, but they give nothing to teachers. So how many can we get for $10,000? Let's do this quickly. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and your family. Mashallah, may Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the here after say Amin. And Muhammad al Qawasmi. Qawasmi, may Allah bless you. His son. Huh? That's his son? Allahu Akbar. Wahid. Okay, good. Let's do it quickly. Who will do $10,000 for this wonderful institution? In my opinion, more important than Harvard. It's my opinion. Who will do $10,000? We have one. Fisa bilila. Inshallah. Taib. If we're going to reach our goal, our goal is $200,000. Inshallah, we will get it. Because you know what? Mass has a history of giving. So they say, my wealth, my wealth, my wealth. <laughs> Mashallah. May Allah bless you. $10,000, the best of this life, and the best of the hereafter. Say, Ameen. It's name, Thalatha. You know, think about it, huh? Abdullah, Nofal. May Allah bless you, but Jazakallah Khaira. You know something? Think about it. How many of you are blessed to have your own house? Raise your hand. Good. Good. Alhamdulillah. You know what? For sure, one day that house won't be your house. One day the jewelry won't be your jewelry. The shoes won't be your shoes. The clothing won't be your clothing. Fa'al khair, $10,000. Allahu Akbar, mashallah, the best of this life and the best of the year after Sameen. Is that Thalatha? That's three? We need four. Who would be the fourth one? $10,000. Fisa Bililah. Brothers and sisters, don't, don't hesitate. Anfik ya ibn Adam, unfik alayk. Spin, O oh children of Adam, Allah will spend on you. Just to correct, this is from Dar Nofal, the one $10,000. May Allah reward them all. The Dar Nofal family, $10,000. Good. Okay, and that's, that's four now? That's four? That's four? That's three. Okay, give me the fourth one. One more. It would be nice if a sister can donate. Sister, we want to show these brothers. That Allah bless you to have money also. Who will give $10,000? And to be sure to get reward from Allah with our good in, intention. You see, brothers and sisters, every year I read Forbes magazine and I find out somebody else, some great uh, billionaire died. Question is, what you going to leave? Because you know what? What? You got me? Maher al Jamal and Malik al Jayusi, $10,000. $10,000 together. That's four. You got a problem. Up. What? 
if the Prophet had said, Huni al Islam ala khams, how you stop at four? No, 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 no. We need khams. Somebody has to give us khams. We can't go on unless I get khams. So I need one more brother or sister say, you know what, Allah bless me. I want you to give $10,000. We got $40,000, alhamdulillah. We got $40,000 plus one, that's ten fifty dollars But we need one more person, $10,000. Brother and sister, again, I want to thank you not only for what you give today, but what you always give, especially mask. Now, let me tell you something. There's a man coming behind me. I have mercy. This guy ain't got no mercy. So if you don't give it to me, I'm going to call him up. You know who I'm talking about. You're going to come back and you're going to come and get that, get, that, get that money, inshallah. But let me get one more person, $10,000, whom Allah has blessed, and to give fi sabilillah. MashaAllah. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say ameen. Yeah. Fawzi Ibrahim al Jamal. MashaAllah. That's five. Now, let me show up on the screen, there is a scan code. If you want to scan it, you open up your camera, you take a picture of it, and it will open up a link. On that link, you can donate whatever amount you would, you would please. Oh, okay, it's also on your tables as well. Tap on it. Brothers and sisters, you know, um, myself, I used to be a Christian, and Allah mentioned Quran, Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi min al-kitab. It's a confirmation of the scripture that went before it. When you read the Quran, you see that Allah created the heavens and earth in how many days? Sita. Sita ayamin. If Allah created the heavens and earth in six days, how you stop at five? I need one more. Just one more. Fisa bilillah. Who would do $10,000? Brothers and sisters, may Allah bless you. Let me tell you something. Your unbelievable generosity. And Allah sees everything. Everything that you spend, he said, Bidillah, you get rewarded for. So he'd be the sixth one to give $10,000 for this wonderful cause. This is what we have to do. The government is not going to give it to us. We have to give it to ourselves. The last call, $10,000. The sixth one, any brother or sister, right? Okay, so how many 5,000s can we get? Ahmed Ayyad Abu Tariq Al Mahsiri, $5,000. Allah Akbar. So that's good, alhamdulillah. So give me an idea how many we want. That's one. How many you want? 5,000. How many you want? At least 10. You raising your hand? $5,000? Allah Akbar, come here. Come here. Come up here. MashaAllah. SubhanAllah. Congratulations. Uh, how old are you? 20. 20. Are you married? No. Would you like to get married? No. Huh? <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> That's All right. Okay. okay, good, good, good. Listen, I, I really appreciate that. Young guy, 20 years old, uh, $5,000. You working? Yes. Got a good job? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jazakallah. Thank you so much. So that's two, right? Let's do it quickly. Third one, $5,000. Mahmoud Salama, $5,000. MashaAllah, may Allah bless you. That's Thalatha. Arba'a. Who will be the fourth one, $5,000? You can do it, brothers and sisters. This is Fisa Bililah for this school. And never think that you're going to outdo Allah in anything. If you walk to Allah, Allah run to you. If you give 5000 to Allah, what do you think Allah will give back to us? Okay, there is someone, please make dua for him. He is not here. He's an overseas. He never entered the United States. His name is Riyadh Al-Idwan. He donated $5,000, and he never entered the United States. He's in back home. Jesus, make dua for him, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for him to come to here to meet with his wife and his kids.
May Allah bless him. Give him whatever he needs of good. May Allah give it to him. How many is that? Five thousand. How many? Come check. How many? How many is that? Five thousand. How many is that? That's how many fives? Five? You did five? All right. Okay. I asked you before. Allah created the heavens and earth. How many days? Sita Ayaman. So give me one more. Who will be the sixth one? Easy. Five thousand dollars. Who will be the sixth one? May Allah say, Allahu Akbar, number sitta. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean. Alhamdulillah. Brother, you caused me a problem. Brother, raise your hand. Call, talk, tap him. Listen, you caused me a problem. I love you. You're the sixth one, but let me tell you a problem you caused me. The prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Seba. Seven will enter Jannah with no accounting. So I need the seventh one. Allahu Akbar. May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait. His name is Muhammad. Muhammad? No. Muhammad, listen, brother. Listen. I love you, but you caused me a problem. No, I'm telling you the problem. How many gates to hell? How many gates to hell? Seven. How are you going to stop at seven? How many gates to Jannah? Eight. I need one more. I need one more person. $5,000 for the eight gates of Jannah. Can I get one more? Among the brothers and the sisters. Brother Muhammad, he's the one who prepared the delicious food, inshallah, tonight. Just make dua for him. He's the one who donated $5,000. And another 5,000, Brother Asad Rihan. $5,000, Takbir. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I remember reading the Quran that Allah sent signs to Musa. How many signs did he send to Musa? Nine. Did you hear that? Nine. How you stop at eight? I need one more. One more person, five thousand dollars, fi Who will be the Who will be the honorable person to say, you know what, Imam, Allah bless me. I have a salary, I have income, I have a business. A lot of people don't have it, so I need one more brother or sister to commit themselves to five thousand dollars for this worthy cause. One more. Even a table, if you like. One more. You want me? You calling me? You have to call me. You, 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 you. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, 5,000? May Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean. One of the Khatibs. MashaAllah. So here? MashaAllah. Man ja'a bil hasana falahu. Ash. How you stop at nine and Allah say, Ash. I need one more. Just one more. What's the total so far? What's the total so far? One. One seventy. That's what we did so far. Yes. Okay. Good. So listen, I'm almost finished, but I need one more. So we have nine, right? At five. So we need one more. Who will be the honorable person to say, yes, where? Allah Akbar, may Allah bless you the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say, I mean. So that's 10 people at 5,000. That's 50,000. So, so far, we add 170, 75,000. Yes. Hmm? I don't know. Imam, I asked Imam um, Suhaib, you think there's one more five or should we just go to two? Eleven brothers. Oh, Yusuf had eleven brothers. That's what I'm talking about. So I got to get one more. And Imam Suhaib, who gave me the suggestion. Eleven brothers. <laughs> All right. Anyone else? Five thousand. Last one. Peace and be the Lord. Brothers and sisters, wallahi, you will never regret. I have heard every fundraiser, every fundraiser mention, man naqasa malu abdin min sadaqa. Wealth is never diminished by giving sadaqa. Wallahi, I bear witness to that. Your wealth will never be diminished by giving sadaqah. I was a math major, uh, Sheikh Suhaib, at New York University. 
I was a major, math major in New York University. I understand math. And when the prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said that wealth is never diminished by giving sadaqah, wallahi, I bear witness to that. So who will be the last one, the 11th one, to give $5,000, fisa bilillah, for this wonderful institution where you get the ajr from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One more. Alhamdulillah. So brothers and sisters, may Allah bless you. Um, we're going to get the last bit. I, th I, I should keep on going. We'll keep going. All right, you want 20? You want 2,000 or 2,500? Which one you want? 20 people at 2,000? It's going to be okay. You guarantee it. All right. So brothers and sisters, let's do this quickly. Let's see how many people we can go for $2,000. You know what? Imam Saraj, you don't know how much you have in your bank or your pockets. Allah knows. We don't do it for Imam Saraj. We don't do it for anyone but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what it is. And this is kind of having, having fun, if you would. How many commit themselves to $2,000? Raise your hand. Let's count. Good. There's one. Good. Khalid? Khalid al-Jamal. Jamal, alhamdulillah. Brother Khalid, Jazakallah khairan. May Allah bless you in your first one. Number two, may Allah bless you. Number three. Number two, Hashim Dahsan. Or Muhammad Dahsan, 2000-2000. Allahu Akbar, mashallah. I, I noticed another one, number four. I, I noticed number five, Allahu Akbar, mashallah. I noticed you were doing a special kind of, so there's a reason. Your sons, you see? I knew there was something. I got it. That's number five. Allahu Akbar. I love number five. May Allah bless you. That table, I love that table. Anyone else on that table? Brother Hamdil Jundi, $2,000. That's six. Anyone else? Just raise your hand. We'll do it quickly. This is a quick. We did six so far at $2,000. We're trying to go for 10 we We're trying to go for 10 10 or 20 You said 20 All right. Good. All right. Anyone else? Peace and bililah. And you know, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said, Badiru bi soliha. Hurry up and do good deeds. Years ago, there was a, a television program, Imam uh, uh, Webb. There was a television, television program you may not have remembered, but called Beat the Clock. Remember that game show, Beat the Clock? Okay. But alhamdulillah, everyone had to do a performance, but they had to beat the clock. They're given a certain amount of time. The only thing about us, we don't know how much time we have. We want to beat the clock. Anyone else? Two thousand dollars? Fisa bilillah. May Sheikh Hamoud, I want you. Come on, you finish it up, inshallah. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. This is the master here. Why you have the student? You got the master. Yes, uh, brother Adam. Uh, Two thousand dollars. May Allah bless you. So far, we add one hundred eighty-four thousand. 200,000. Allahu Akbar. How much to? May Allah bless you. The best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Say ameen. We're there. We're there already. 84, 85, 86, 80, 86 hours. We got a couple more to go. But my sheikh is going to finish up, inshallah. Uh, I, actually, I'm sorry. Sarai, Imam Siraj. Yes. I am the student. You are my teacher. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. Let me just be a witness for, uh, for the history. Imam Siraj Wahash, I was a student in... Uh, uh, Pittsburgh, and he came to us in Morrowfield to raise funds. He was amazing. I cannot compare myself to Siraj Wahaj in this matter at all. Jazakallah khair, barakallah feek. But I know that we finish, inshallah, to reach our goal, $200,000. It's easy. We reach to the point, $2,000 to donate. I appeal to every sisters and brothers to contribute as much as you can, 2000 and up. 2000 and up, are you on? Yes. MashaAllah, Jamil Yusuf Abu Abdullah, 2000. Takbir! Takbir! Allahu Akbar, Nasa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Nig'al hadha fi mizan hasrata. Qul ameen. Allahumma barak lahu. Allahumma barak lahu. Wahfadhu ya Rabbil alameen. Washfihi min jami' al-amrad wa al-asqam ya rahman rahim. Shukran Abu Abdullah. Abu Abdullah, Jamil Yusuf. Shukran Abu Abdullah, Jamil Yusuf. Jazak Allah khair. Jammarak Allahu bil-afiya wa al-khair. Anyone who second one said yes, I will give two thousand dollars and up and more. Anyone? Yes, I cannot see from the 
جزاك الله يا عبد الله يافعي تكبير ما شاء الله الله اكبر عبد الله يافعي نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى ان يجعلك عبدا لله قل امين اللهم بارك له يا رب العالمين واحفظه يا رب العالمين وزده من فضلك اللهم اعط منفقا خلفه ام محمد قواسمي الله اكبر تكبير جزيك الله يا ام محمد شكرا شكرا بارك الله فيك ام محمد قواسمي 2000 دولارز زوجها 20000 دولارز ابنها 10000 دولارز هي 2000 دولارز ما شاء الله تكبير الله اكبر تكبير يا جماعه تكبير الصوت واطي تكبير الله اكبر يكبر الله عظم الله تبارك وتعالى this is great day ان شاء الله great night الحمد لله we have scholars امام سراج وهاد ويس اس سهيب ويب جزاه الله خير الشيخ علي سليمان دكتور محمد دكتور حسين محمد طه الشيخ عبد الرحمن برادرز من جميع الجهات ان شاء الله this is a special day for us ان شاء الله اني 2000 داز اند اب جزاك اهلا يا سلام يا سلام ابو عو ابو نوح ابو نوح ما شاء الله تكبير ابو نوح ما شاء الله نجعلك الله انت واسرتك كقافله نوح عليه السلام ما شاء الله الله اكبر نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى ان يفرج عن اخواننا في الاقصى يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظ الاقصى يا رحم الراحمين وابناء فلسطين يا ارحم الراحمين كلهم عونا ومعينا يا رب العالمين اللهم نسالك ان تكون معهم في هذه الليله وفي كل ليله يا رب العالمين ان تعطي النصر والمؤازره والفوز في الدنيا والاخره وان تجعل عدوهم داخرا يا رب العالمين وخاسرا جزاك الله خير يا ابو نوح شكرا شكرا ابو نوح بار 1000 دولار من ابو نوح ان شاء الله للاقصى من يتبرع للاقصى من يتبرع لابي لامه لاخي لزوجه ايفري وان جس دونيتد في سبيل الله تبارك وتعالى از مات از يو كان ان شاء الله اني وان سيد يس ريز اور هاند بليز ترم ذا باك وي هاد 198470 دولار ما شاء الله ما شاء الله هو كان رتش ان شاء الله ذا ذا كومبليت ذا جول ان شاء الله 200000 اند مور ان شاء الله اني وان سيد يس الف طيب اوكي ما شمانا جس ابراهيم العمري سجل ذا 1000 اب ان شاء الله ذيس ايزي The easy one, inshallah. One thousand up, inshallah. The first one, who is the first one, inshallah. Jazak Allah khair. Shukran, shukran, huzak. Allah hu akbar. Khalid Abu Khadr Abu Muhammad. One thousand up, takbir. Shukran, ya Khalid. Khalid Allah hu ismak. Fi dunya wal akhirah, inshallah. Wajjalaka bil Khalid. Who is that? Okay, carry time, auto care, one thousand. One thousand, auto care, huh? Yes, salam, yes, salam. Ma salam, ma sha Allah. Allah hu akbar. الهداية حلقة 1000 دولار تكبير نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يجعلهم هداية مستمرين في الهداية في الدنيا حتى الآخرة حتى يدخل الجنة إن شاء الله تبارك وتعالى أني 1000 أند أب إن شاء الله بليز ما شاء الله حمد الجندي حلمي حلمي يا راجل حلمي حلمي يا راجل ابن حمدي حلمي الجندي 1000 دولار تكبير يا حلمي بارك الله فيك يا حلمي حلمي وين حلمي وين حلمي شغال الله اكبر ادعوا له يا جماعه هو شغال شغال حلمي نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى ان يبارك في حلمي وابو حلمي وام حلمي واخواته جميعا ان شاء الله اخوات حلمي كلهم ربنا يكتب لهم ان شاء الله اني 1000 دولار في سبيل الله تبار شكرا بارك الله فيك هو ذات محسن من هو ذات 1000 دولار في الاخير تكبير الله اكبر شكرا جزاك الله خير بارك الله فيك اي دونت نو يور نيم حتى الان اه ابراهيم العمري ما شاء الله وانت وزنا ابراهيم شكرا ابراهيم جزاك الله خير بارك الله فيك كثر الله مالك وزادك من فضل يرحم الراحمين ما شاء الله محمد مهند مهند نوفل وانت وزنا تكبير شكرا شكرا جزاك الله مهند الله اكبر نسرين يس 1000 ما شاء الله نسرين محسن 1100 تكبير ان تصفيق تصفيق الله اكبر ما شاء الله نسرين شكرا نسرين شكرا شكرا بارك زودت كمان 100 1100 دولار جود اكسترا ما شاء الله ما شاء الله مهند فليفل 1000 دولار مهند هذا ون اوف ذا بيست ستودنت ان الارقم سكول ان 
مانت فرنر مهند جزاك الله مهند شكرا شكرا مهند بارك الله ما شاء الله وكذلك محمد فليفة أخوه 1000 دولار ابن فليفة شكرا مهند شكرا فليفة الفلافل ناكل فلافل ما شاء الله الله أكبر شكرا ما شاء الله وفاع الخير 1000 دولار جزاك الله خير فاع الخير الله أكبر وليد على أدي وليد على الدين 2000 فور هيس سيك فاذر سيك نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى يرحمه نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى له الرحمه قل امين اللهم ارحمه يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر له وارحمه وعافيه واعف عنه واكرم نزله ووسع مدخله واغسله بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقي من الخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الابيض من الدنس اللهم لا تفتنا بعده ولا تحرمنا اجره واغفر لنا وله يا رب العالمين جزاك الله خير شكرا لتوفيق تبرع في سبيل ابوه ولا ايش؟ ابوه في نعم جزاك الله خير ايش يا ماهر؟ ما شاء الله احمد السقا حلال جايز ديليشيس فود 5000 دولار شكرا احمد السقا وير از احمد السقا وير از هي؟ فين؟ لا بالكون ما شاء الله اتصل احمد السقا 5000 دولار امام سراج وير از 5000 دولار الان احمد السقا الحمد لله From 1,000 to 5,000 dollars right now. Ni'mat Allah. Ni'mat one of the blessings of Allah. Ma sha Allah. Tahir bin Brooklyn. Tahir Abdul Hadi. 1,000 takbir. Tasfiq. Kat tasfiq shua. Come in from Brooklyn to 1,000 dollars. Ma sha Allah. Shukran Taha. Shukran. Ma sha Allah. Allahu Akbar. Hatta Hanadi. Hanadi Sarrar 1,000 dollars. Tasfiq wa takbir. ما شاء الله شكرا هذه شكرا ابنها وابناها باقي باقي عدنان بس ليش عدنان وين عدنان وين عدنان ها عدنان هنادي واولادك مع سبعة الاف سبعة الاف كملوا العشرة طيب ولكم كملوهاش كمل العشرة يا راجل كملها يا راجل عدنان يا عدنان ما شاء الله ليش هو عبد الله جمال عبد الله جمال 1000 دولار الدعاء فور وات صحته ولا فور ايش ولا ولا برحمته ولا ايش صحته نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى ان يعطيه الصحه والعافيه امين ويبارك له في المال يس يس بدي اسراج يا امام سراج وهاج كان يو كم بليز كم لا لا ما هي سال بليز ما ما سراج كم كم بليز كم كم ما شاء الله هازم هازم زو هاشم دعسان وايف دانيا الناطور 1000 دولار 1000 دولار جزاك الله خير شكرا جزاك الله خير بارك الله فيك شكرا شكرا امام سراج بليز ذيس از يور يور اريا بليز يور اريا بليز فرانسيس ليت مي اي جست ونت شو يو سمثينج جست ونت شو يو سمثينج ابوت وات وي دو هير We don't know about the hereafter unless we read it from the Quran or the Sunnah. And the Prophet والسلام, will ask the person who's least punished in the hereafter, least. He said, if you had all the wealth in the world, would you ransom it to save yourself? He said, yes. Allah asks you for something less than that. La ilaha illallah. And then when we spend out of what Allah gives us, Allah appreciates it. Let me give you one example. There was a man, the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said a man was in the desert and he was thirsty and he went in the well and he, and he, and he trenched his, his thirst. He said he saw a dog. He said that dog is suffering what I am suffering from and he went and gave a sip of water to the dog. And the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, said because of that, Allah forgave him. Allah was appreciative and he entered him to Jannah, a sip of water for a dog. What do you think? Allah is going to give us what we spend for these children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Every one of you, every one of you had even the niyyah to give who couldn't give it. I want to remind you what the Prophet said. Uh, he said, Sabaka dirham, miya tu alfi dirham. Sometimes one dollar can be better than a hundred thousand. He said, how? Kaifa ya Rasulullah, how? He said, one man, he only has two dollars. And he gives one. That's half of what he had. Another man gave a hundred thousand. Maybe he has so many, so many. So, and don't ever think that your money is not enough. 
is no, is no big deal. No, it's a big deal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he see everything. I want to thank every one of you who came in the spirit that you gave. That we had $213,465. May Allah bless you. You did a wonderful job. Jazakallah khaira. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You have to stay. You have to stay. You have to stay. Wallah, we love you. Come on, you have to stay. Please, please. Yes, if you love them, you have to stay. No. If you love If you... If... If yes. you yes. love me, you let me go back. If you love me. Yeah, yeah. Do you love me? Yes, we love you. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, okay. You have to announce it. Please, please, please. Okay. Yo! Yeah. All of us, please. Jazakallah khair. Please. May Allah bless you in the best of this life and the best of the hereafter. Brothers and sisters, you don't never know that sadaqah that we give. You have no idea what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us for that. You don't know. We say, oh, it's no big deal. It's a big deal. Even your niyyah to give for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he writes it down. So please, brothers and sisters, don't stop giving. Those of you who have not yet given, alhamdulillah, please give. And again, I'm, I don't even, I know, know how to say it the same way. Jazakallah khairu. May Allah subhanahu wa bless you. This is the master here. That's why I gave it to him, to let him finish it. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Jazakallah Imam Saraj, barakallah fi. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward you in this dunya and hereafter. Inshallah. Yes, please. Mashallah. Sister Amina and brother Ali still have $2,000. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Jazakallah khair, brother Ali. And Sister Amin, that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm yukum fi dunya wa lakra. Shukr gazeela. Who is next? Saadiya Khalifa, $1,000. Saadiya Khalifa, $1,000. Jazakallah khair. Shukran. Barakallah fiik. Naam, shukran. MashaAllah. Ziyad al-Mahsiri. Barakallah fiik. Ziyad. Abu Antaqa ila rahmati. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and rahmahu. Qul ameen. Allahumma rahmahu ya rabbil alami. Waqfil lahu ya rabbil alameen. وأدخله الجنة أرحم الراحمين واجعله في عليين شكرا زيار بارك الله فيك آه الأخ محمود زعتر one of the one member of the community تبرع ب one thousand dollar في سبيل الله نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى شوي اللهم شفي رب العالمين اللهم رب الناس إذهب البأس إشفى أنت الشاف إشفى الله شفاك إشفى الله يغادر سقما اللهم شو عافي ما شاء الله السستر علي الجمال ومها البراشي ذا مستر اوف سي وان اف ري وان از 1000 دولار تكبير مها 1000 دولار البراشي مها البراشي اند علي الجمل ما شاء الله ذس وان ادان ادان ادا ما شاء الله هاو ماتش هاف لارج ما شاء الله ثري هندر داش تكبير ما شاء الله شكرا 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 ما شاء الله طيب بارك الله فيك وذا ألف دولار كمان bring all the children with ألف دولار please 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 what's your name Adam Martin Adam ما شاء الله ما شاء الله one thousand dollars ما شاء الله thank you thank you تصفيق please رهان فيرام yes شكرا شكرا بارك الله فيك شكرا just bring all the children with thousand dollars please 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 what a five hundred so please one now this one inshallah please exactly Allah khair mashallah mashallah Ibrahim yes mashallah Khalid Nassar one thousand dollars exactly Allah khair Khalid Nassar Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and insurak wa yaqtik al nasr al mubin wa al rizq al kabir wa al ayyim mashallah anyone just one thousand only five and up inshallah five hundred dollars and up anyone just any amount of money five and up inshallah just we, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, Gizak for Allah, and tell now which, 2,000, 19,000, 200, 2,000. Brother Aziz, give me 500 dollars. Brother Aziz, give me 500 dollars. Gizak Allah, Brother Aziz. Shukran, Brother Aziz, shukran. Afqadlan. Yes. Naam. Five, inshallah, 500 and up, inshallah, 5 and up. ما شاء الله أحمد النوباني جزاه الله خير 500 دولار نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يبارك لأخينا أحمد النوباني شكرا أخ أحمد جزاك الله خير ما شاء الله عبد المؤمن المنصوري 500 دولار تكبير الله أكبر 
جزاك الله خير ما شاء الله احمد حسين 500 دولار جزاه الله خير بارك الله له امين يا رب العالمين احمد ذس ون دكتور نادر السيد 500 دولار ما شاء الله الدكتور نادر الصايغ الصايغ 500 دولار تكبير بارك الله شكرا دكتور نادر ما شاء الله اني وان جاست 500 دولار اند اب Anyone, any amount of money, please. What could be Taib? Less than, less than 500 dollars, make it 200 dollars. 200 dollars and up, inshallah. 200 dollars and up. MashaAllah, Dr. Abdel Munim, 500 dollars. Jazakallah khair, shukran. Zubayda Jumas, 200 dollars. Zubayda Jumas. Zubayda Jumas, 200 dollars. Anyone, just 200 and up. 200 up ان شاء الله بليز جزاكم الله خير 100 نائل عزام 100 نائل عزام 100 دولار جزاه الله خير جديج فاميلي 100 ما شاء الله جزاكم الله خير جميعا بارك الله فيكم اني وان هو جاست هو ريز هاند يا سينا كنا في بليز الله يجزيكم خير شكرا بارك الله فيك شكرا ما شاء الله اني وان جاست اني 200 اند اب Or at least one and up, one hundred and up, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khair. Anyone just yet? Yes, I will donate one and up. MashaAllah, Sister Ni'ma Al-Qaisi, five hundred dollars. Jazakum Allah khair. Shukran Al-Akh Ni'ma. Nasa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an yikzika khair al-jaza. Warham walidayk. Ameen, Rabbil Alameen. Sister Ni'ma, one of the teachers in the school, I think. Mishira, used to be. Ah, MashaAllah, subhanAllah, tariq, ha? Allah, 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 Allah. Don't go far in this. Assalamu alaikum. I know we're all eating. It's okay. You don't have to do the salam this time. Um, I just wanted to give some special shout outs to certain individuals who made tonight possible. First and foremost, I would love to give some love and support to Scalia Events. They did the stage, they did the lights, they did the production. They are an amazing, amazing team to have for any event, any meeting, any occasion. They are the ones that lead the Mass Igna Convention in Chicago. Jazakum Allah khair on Scali events. Stand up, Sheikh. You have to stand up. He's not standing up. All right, we got to wave. Alhamdulillah. I would love to give another uh, shout out to the Grill House, right? We all know our beloved Grill House in the Bronx for providing this food. And most importantly, I would love to give a shout out to the team that led this fundraiser. Bismillah, mashallah. I've, I've been to so many Andalusia fundraisers, and I am blown away by the simplicity, by the elegance of this fundraiser. Jazakum hawa khayrun for Sister Hanadi, Sister Anna, Sister Muhammad, Sister Mah I mean, Brother Muhammad, my fault. Uh, Brother Abdullah Nofal, Sindh Sinwi, Ma'moon Nofal, and Sister Lori. Jazakum hawa khayrun. And now we would love to close with our closing remarks and dua by Sheikh Hamoud As-Sulwi. Don't, yeah, Shrabna, you gotta come back. Uh, yes, Brother Ibrahim has a few words. Assalamu alaikum. There's someone who has a SUV, Volvo, he blocked the neighbor and they're gonna call the tow truck to tow your car. Your car up the street here, you block the whole driveway, they're gonna call the tow truck. Mahaluh, $250. ماهر ابو ملوح 250 دولار نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى يبارك لاخونا ماهر ماهر ابو ملوح شكرا جزيلا جزيلا لا لا خلاص لا لا خلاص من واحد طيب ما من؟ ما مدو ما مدو 500 دولار جزاه الله خير ما مدو برادر ما مدو شكرا نسال الله سبحانه وتعالى ان يثيبهم جميعا نعم اللهم اعطي موفقا خلفا اللهم اعطي موفقا خلفا اني وان جس تو جس 100 دولار اند اب اني وان ولا جس ستوب ان شاء الله ذاس ات بس الحمد لله بس. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم جميعاً. استنى قبل ما تسكر آخر إشي. فيزيكال ثرابي دكتور حسين. 2000 دولار تكبير. ما شاء الله. تكبير ختامها مسك إن شاء الله. يس. ما شاء الله 2000 دولار جزاه الله خير وبارك الله له إن شاء الله ولها وجميع المسلمين إن شاء الله. اللهم أعطي منفقاً خلفا يا رب العالمين. ذاس ات ما شاء الله. ذاس ات أذكر إن شاء الله. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم نسألك أن تجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل منا ولا فينا ولا بيننا شقيا ولا محروما اللهم نسألك العفو العافية والمعافاة الدائمة في الدين والدنيا والآخرة اللهم حرسنا بعينك التي لا تنام وكنفنا بركنك الذي لا يرام 
واحفظنا بعزك الذي لا يضام وكلانا في الليل والنهار وارحمنا بقدرتك علينا انت ثقتنا ورجاؤنا فكم من نعمه انعمت بها علينا قل لك بها شكرنا وكم من بليه ابتليتنا بها قل لك بها صبرنا وكم من خطيه ارتكبنا فلم تفضحنا فيا من قل عند نعمته شكرنا فلم يحرمنا ويا من قل عند بلوا صبرنا فلم يخذلنا ويا من راعي الخطايا فلم يعاقبنا يا ذا المعروف الذي لا ينقضي ابدا ويا ذا الادي التي لا تحصى عددا ويا ذا الوجه الذي لا يبلو ابدا ويا ذا النور الذي لا يطفا سرمدا نسالك ان تصلي على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم ان تكفينا شر كل ذي شر بك ندرو في نحره ونعوذ من شره ونستعينك عليه اللهم عنا على ديننا بدنيانا وعلى اخرتنا بالتقوى واحفظنا فيما غاب عنا ولا تكلنا الى انفسنا طرفه عين يا من لا تضره الذنوب ولا تنقص المغفره اغفر لنا ما لا يضرك وهب لنا ما لا ينقصك يا الهنا نسالك فرجا قريبا وصبرا جميلا ونسالك العافيه من كل بليه ونسالك دوام العافيه ونسالك الشكر على العافيه ونسالك الاستغناء عن الناس ولا قوه الا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم بك نستدفع ما نحن فيه ونعوذ بك من شره يا ارحم الراحمين يا من لا تراه العيون ولا تخالطه الظنون ولا يصف الواصفون ولا تغير الحوادث ولا يخشى الدوائر يعلم مثاقيل الجبال ومكايل البحار وعدد قط الامطار وعدد ورق الاشجار وعدد ما اظلم عليه الليل واشرق عليه النهار ولا تواري منه سماء سماء ولا ارض ارضا ولا بحر ما في قعره ولا جبل ما في وعره اجعل خير اعمالنا واخره اجعل خير اعمالنا واخره اجعل خير اعمالنا واخره وخير اعمالنا خواتمه وخير ايامنا يوم القاك فيه يا رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا ولي محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته Food is coming around. Please, everyone, have a seat. Food is coming around. Jazakumullah for a great night. I want to thank the fundraising committee that made this possible tonight. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you. And thank you for attending. This would have never been uh, successful without you. Jazakumullah khair. Thank you.